Hey what's up Dani here and welcome to my channel and another video. Today I'm back with another TM books. So first I want to say two things. If you hear noise in the background it is either from upstairs because they're like doing shit. So there's like hammering and shit going on occasionally. And also I have a freezer in my room now because it has no space anywhere else. My dad just brought it in today so it's currently like freezing down to minus 16 degrees. So it makes noise. We all hope that it's gonna go when it's frozen but who knows. But if you hear any noise that's that. But anyway I am... I wanted to do another wrap up of some of the books I've been reading because I need to like get up to date with it because I've read too much in the month of November so here's that. So I also try to get through this quickly but you know me I talk a lot and it sucks because I can't summarize anything in a proper manner without drifting off and just babbling on forever. But anyway, the first thing I've read, also the theme of this video is male male, just so you know. So there's like nothing else other than boys in love. Really now, <sighs> so annoying. Been going on for like three weeks, honestly. Anyway, so the first thing I've read or the first thing I'm going to talk about is I hear the sunspot. I have read I hear the sunspot theory of happiness. I hear the sunspot limit volume 1 and I hear the sunspot limit volume 2. If you remember I've read volume 1 or the original I hear the sunspot in summerish so when I found out there's more, I had to get it and there probably will be more than this, so yeah. Anyway, the main thing is it's about this boy named Taichi and he's like a very bubbly, optimistic person. He's always like talking really loudly and happy and here and there and whatever. And then there's this guy, Kohei. And he's like deaf, and but he hears like still some stuff. He hears if you're like very clear, he hears you, and he can read your lips very well. So these two guys meet. He's like very alone, lonely. Like he wants to be. He's like trying to not get into anyone's business. So he's like alone all the time. So. Tai Chi just went up to him randomly and just talked to him like with his bubbly voice and he was really loud and obnoxious to other people but to Tai Chi it was like the perfect sound for him to understand so they start talking and becoming friends and the thing is Kohei doesn't really understand the stuff that goes on in the classroom like he doesn't understand the teacher all the time so he's looking for someone who can take notes for him so Tai Chi is going to do this for him so that's basically the main thing that's happening in the first volume which I've read already back in summer and because it went really well, like the sales went really well. The mangaka was able to do more with those two characters. So we got the sequel, the Theory of Happiness. It's really thick as well, like you get a lot for the money. It doesn't even say a price on the back. But I paid like 11 bucks for these books, so it's not too bad for what you get. So this just continues the story of these two guys and so does Limit Volumes 1 and 2. There's gonna be more after this, probably Limit Volume 3 or another sequel. I have no idea. I don't know when the next one's coming out but it ended on... it had an open ending so I'm sure there's more. And basically it just continues with them being in school and being very it's a very slow burn. It's you get 
frustrated with them a lot of times and it's just a lot of like sadness is going on and then Tai Chi gets a job offer and he's he um, quit school to do this job because he wants to do this job for Kohei and so Kohei is alone in school he needs another note taker they don't see each other that often anymore and it like it puts some damage to their relationship and it's just a lot of drama and sadness and heartbreak but it's also beautiful and I just I love it so much this is one of my favorite series right now also Kohei is really freaking beautiful I'm just saying like sometimes when you see pictures of him he's just so pretty and he's so sad and I just I just want to hug him for the rest of my life and never let him go and tell him that everything's gonna be fine because he's just so sad but he's so beautiful but yeah anyway but can we also talk about these beautiful covers because just just look at this it's so beautiful and it always goes around to the other side so it's like an open picture which is really cool I love this when manga is doing this and then we have that one also really beautiful and then we have this so this is my favorite cover this is one of my favorite covers of all the manga I own I mean just look at the colors so this is Tai Chi and then it goes over and then you see Kohei here and it's just, it, this cover is so sad. And this is exactly what this manga is. It's just, but this cover is fucking gorgeous and I just love it. So beautiful. I wish I could just like open it like this and hang it on my wall. But it's just so gorgeous. But anyway, that's I Hear the Sunspot. If you, if you like BL stuff and sad stuff and heartbreaking stuff but also beautiful stuff you should definitely pick up I Hear the Sunspot because it's freaking beautiful and I love it so much my children <laughs> then the next thing I've read are two graphic novels and that is Heartstopper Volume 1 and Volume 2 um, I've read this as a body read with JT and we just both flew through this and it's just so cute and it's like very simple art so it's like a quick read an easy comic to go through and it's just so beautiful and adorable and I love these characters and just I don't even want to say too much about this because all it says on the back is boy meets boy, boys become friends, boys fall in love and that's all you get for the first volume so I don't even want to say more because honestly just get into this and like it and just go through it and they're just so cute and I just I love it so much and I can't wait for volume 3 to come out in February it will come out like three days before my birthday so it's gonna be a birthday present to myself so yes um, this is just contemporary school love boys problems just contemporary so I just love it so much and it's like so different to any other graphic novel I've read so from the art and everything so I just really love it it's beautiful and it's also very well known in the book community because Alice Oseman is actually an author that is well known in the community so a lot of the booktubers have read these as well and they all loved it and so yes it got really good reviews and I have to agree and I freaking love it and I can't wait to get more of this so you have volume 1 and volume 2 
Also, the spines are colorful. I think the third one is going to be yellow, so that's going to be cool on the shelf. But yeah, that's Heartstopper Volumes 1 and 2. And this is all the physical reading I've been doing. Um, ever since I've got a Kindle, I've been looking for like free ebooks that I get to review. And I'm gonna talk about two of those for this video because I don't want to make this video too long because anyway, so the first book I want to talk about is a book called Damaged Hearts by Jan St. Marcus and as I say, I got this for free for an honest review. I did that review on Goodreads. So there's, there's that. And the book is like very basic. Like the plot. The beginning is like the typical male male story. Like teen angst, young adult. It's, it's more young adult, it's not teen. It's like, yeah, it's like just coming over from being a teenager to being an adult. So basically you have a guy named Brandon who is homeless. He is a foster kid. He's been around through different foster homes when he was a kid. And then he went to the Marines and now he's back and he's back on the streets and he's just trying to survive. So that's, that's that. And then we have... Michelangelo who is a young I think he's 26 and Brandon is I think 21 or 22 something around that so Michelangelo is like he has money because he has a good job and he works for the NSA as a He's like really good at math, so he does like the computer stuff when there's like something wrong with the system. He is here to fix everything, like change the codes and everything so everything works again. So he's just like this secret employee that nobody knows. He's like, he's got a second um, identity kind of because nobody can know anything about what he's doing, his job, so nobody knows. They have to keep it a secret and yes, so there's one day he sees Brandon being bullied by three guys. Well, basically one guy because everyone else around the bully is always just there to be there. But there's mostly just one and he's like... The bullies basically went to get pizza and they ate the pizza and they had some leftovers so they threw them away so typically as a homeless person Brandon waited for them to leave so he went to get the pizza because it's still fresh it's not been in the bin for too long so but unfortunately the, the bullies saw him taking the pizza and so they came back and were really mean and spit on the pizza and you know like the typical bully asshole thing they do and so Michelangelo was just there at the right time so he jumped in and talked to them like why they, why they do such things and all that stuff and obviously the bully didn't want to back off so they went into some sort of argument and the bully go all up in his grill and Michelangelo was like if you don't stop now I'm gonna break your arm and your friends are gonna run away because they're gonna be scared and he was just laughing because he was like why is he talking that bullshit so he tried to hit him and he got his arm broken and Michelangelo recorded it all on video because he needed to keep a profile his profile on the low so he basically recorded it so <clears throat> he has like proof of the other guy starting the whole thing so when the police was here and all that it was all good and off the hook and there they go and Michelangelo takes Brandon into his home and he feeds him and all that stuff because he feels sorry for him. As I say, typical beginning. But thing is, 
somebody from LAPD, I don't even know, they don't know really, but someone has leaked the video and it went viral because hello 21st century. So that video went viral on the internet and everybody all over the world saw that video and everybody gave like negative reviews about the bullies and they got into a really bad picture and when the school found out about them and the bad picture they bring to the school they kicked them off college so there's that so goodbye future for those three and so they want revenge or at least the main bully wants revenge and he goes to try to find um, this secret person because nobody knows who it is they don't know the people in the videos because you can't see those two like Brendan and Michelangelo so he has like some secret agent going to find him he has money his dad is a lawyer I think so they're rich so yeah then all that shit goes down and yeah that's basically the book and I really liked it I enjoyed it I love the action and the shit went down and just the whole thing it was very action-packed not too much but it was still like very thrilling to go through this and was like oh my god how boy if they find out about Michelangelo and his job and blah blah and so yeah so that's basically the main story and I really liked it because it's just really awesome and what I also really liked was the multiple perspectives so every chapter was titled with a name and so you got like five perspectives I think you got Brandon's and Michelangelo's obviously then you also get the point of view of the bully which is really interesting to see his side as well because you start to feel like bad for him as well which you know and then you get the point of view of his father the bully's father because his business is in like gets negative reviews as well because of his son doing such things and you also get the point of view of the person who protects Michelangelo from like having his profile blown so he's like he has to like go and manipulate the video so you don't recognize him and he has to like check everything to keep him safe from stuff that happens because NSA and CIA and FBI shit that's <coughs> into included and yes so I really like that different points of views of outsiders and the main people so yeah that is damaged hearts it's very sad and all that as well because of the background stories of both characters like Michelangelo has lost his twin brother and he's just really sad about it because he's the only person he ever loved like as a brother obviously and so he's just very empty on the inside and Brandon has his whole homeless history and just foster homes and everything so there's a lot of triggering stuff as well that's been mentioned in here but I just love this story it was so good and I just wanted to read it I didn't want to stop so yes I obviously gave this five stars and I've read it in a bit more than a week so yes so that's Damaged Hearts and the last book I'm going to talk about is as I said another male male story but this time like all the stuff I mentioned so far has been contemporary romance and just everyday daily life and so when I saw this book which is a paranormal romance I was like ooh I'm here for this because I love paranormal shit as you know so having paranormal and a male male story even better so I requested for this as well so I got it for free as well for a review this is this book is like set in a dystopian future and 
it also plays in Dublin, so Ireland represent, which is also good because I love Ireland, I love Irish accent and all that, so that's that was good already. And this dystopian world has like three categories of people. So you have the upper class, which are like the big ones that make the rules and that have like all the money and you know, the big ones. And then you have the lower class, which are like the normal people, the doctors, the policemen, just like, you know, the normal people. And then you have the fallen, and these are basically the scum of the world. So these are like all the, the bad, bad people that have been thrown out of the other classes. They're all the fallen. They're not angels or anything like that, they're just called the fallen because they've fallen down from all the, the higher class. And so this story plays around Conal, who is the son of an upper class man. So he's got money, he's got a mansion, he's rich, his dad is rich, he's, the people he's surrounded with are rich. He's just rich. Um, but he hates it, so he's not really into that bullshit, but he has to follow the rules. And then we have Mark, who is a fallen. And... So he's not allowed in any of the places in the upper class. So he's not allowed to be in Conal's mansion or around him or around his world. But Conal finds him on the streets broken and beaten and he takes him in and they have like this secret thing and then people find out and yes, shit goes down and I did really enjoy this book as well. I, it was better than I thought it would be because with paranormal because with paranormal romance it's always a hit or miss so I was like okay let's give it a try who knows but I really liked it actually I gave it four stars and it didn't grip me as much as the other books, but it was still a four star, it was still a solid read and there's a cliffhanger in the end and I can tell you I'm gonna read the... I'm gonna read the next book as well once it comes out. So the other book I talked before already came out in October and this book, Fall in Love, comes out December 15th. So not too long when this video comes out. So you can go check it out. But yeah, I'm excited for more books like this and I will request more books like this. And so in my wrap-ups you will see more books like this, but I'm also glad to get back to my manga. There's still more I have to read and that fall in the same category and also other books on my TBR. So I will do this in December as well. So look out for the next update. So yeah, this is the video for right now. I already talked too much. So a Bret Hart Stopper, Volumes 1 and 2. And I hear the sunspots, theory of happiness, and limit one and two, and the two books, damaged hearts and fallen loves. That was that's eight books I've read in this video. So yes, that is it for this video. I hope you liked it, and I hope I will see you in my next one. Bye.